Okay. So just for some context, some background here. There are about 16,000 um, U.S. publicly traded board members who okay. are specifically on the board of a non-controlled company. So uh, shareholder, there isn't one shareholder with 50% of voting rights. They right. are independent of management. Okay. And they are currently sitting on at least one board. So there's 16,000-ish 16, 16, active, okay. active, independent board members of non-controlled companies. Now, I said all those things because these are the ones who can get voted out. Okay, So there's 16,000 board members who could lose their job. So when they survive at the end of a decade, I mean, that's something we should celebrate. There can be only hundreds. Okay? okay? Yeah. Okay. Also, the average board tenure for this uh -huh. group is seven years. All so right. more than ha about half of them are going to get voted out before the decade's up. So this is cause for some celebration. So this is our happy 10 year anniversary, honey. It's our diamond <laughs> anniversary, our 10 year. Okay. Yeah. Um, just for point of reference, 10 years ago in 2010, when these board members got elected, Greece and Ireland were failing. Facebook had 500 million users, not 2.4 billion. The first iPad came out. Oh, yeah. BP's massive oil spill. Ugh. And uh, GM re-IPO'd after the financial okay. crisis. So, All right. That does seem like a long time it ago. It feels like a long time ago. Yeah. There are 629 board members who are celebrating their diamond anniversary. Wait, that's it? That's it. What do you mean? Wait, what? Well, I mean, there's a lot of board members who are in between anniversaries. We're only doing the 10 year. This is, we're oh, okay. doing the round number. Okay, 29 are, are celebrating exactly 10 years. Well, of as board. soon as we All hit right. 2020, they're going to hit the 10, right? So like, that's, that's, that's the official number in the UK where that board member is no longer independent. That's, that's correct. In the yeah. US, there is no official US, number because we don't care. In the US, you can be on the board for 80 years. And you can sleep under the desk of the CEO, and you, you're still uh, independent from the company somehow. You, even though you're paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, you're not. You're independent. Mir well, miraculously. I, you know what? I'm going to keep going here because 2020 isn't just for 10 year anniversaries. It's not just yeah, the diamond true. class. Yeah. This is the 629 board members of the diamond class, but there's the emerald class. Happy 20 okay. year anniversary, honey. We made it for 20. <laughs> okay. Just for reference, in 2000, we were still talking about Y2K, Napster, the dot-com bust, Britney yeah. Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. I said I forgot all about this. Gore yeah. v. Bush. Oh, boy. And ha here's a throwback. Elian Gonzalez. Remember that little kid? Yeah, Elian Gonzalez, who they raided his house, and there was a whole thing, and if you look Isn't it up, he, it's, I'm not going to use it. Is he still alive? I don't even, I feel like he's not alive anymore. Or did he, go, did he go to jail or something happened to little alien? I, anyway, know, I haven't going. been tracking the alien Gonzalez case very closely, <laughs> but I have been tracking that there are 169 sitting board members who are about to hit their 20 year happy right. Emerald for all 169 of you. Okay. Now this feels like small amounts compared to 16,000, but just remember that there are like thousands who are at their 18 year or their 17 year, like sure, in between sure. the decades. This is just right. celebrating the turnover. And these are just the ones that are independent of management and non-controlled companies. These are the vote out ones, potentially. Okay. I'm going to take this multiple steps further, though. Let us Go. celebrate. Happy 30 year anniversary, honey. I got you a pearl. This is the pearl class because in 1990, yeah. these board members joined the board just as GM was the largest company in the world, not re-IPOing after financial crisis. Manuel Noriega was still a thing. Yeah. The original George Bush signed the Clean Air Act. There were two George Bushes? There were. This is all news. This is wow. and And the, uh, the Iraqis have invaded Kuwait. So this is like a thing. There are 21 board members who were elected when all of that stuff were going on celebrating their delightful, wow. their delightful Pearl anniversary. Congratulations. I'm guessing that's a pretty, that's gotta be a pretty diverse set of tw 21 directors there. Let me get you even more diverse. Keep by going. Going. We're going to go to our Ruby class. 
Okay. 40 years, honey. 40 years. We survived 40 years at oh, the God, same, same board company 40 board. Years. 40 years at one okay. company board. I don't Jeez. like people that much. If I survive my wife for 40 years, who I love oh. dearly, no, no, it on, will be on. cause for a Ruby celebration. Quick reference. Phones, yeah. your, your, your tablet was actually an Apple three. Um, your, your smartphone was actually a rotary phone and Michael Milken was still, you know, uh, not convicted of crimes. The John Highlander Lennon movie came alive? out in the eighties. They wanted to, the Iran hostage, you know, yep. situation. There were three board members, three. three. Okay. These three Turning members who were elected when this was happening include these fine gentlemen, H.C. <laughs> Buster Bailey of East Group, East Group Properties. Course. He's 39 Course. years young on the board today, uh, going uh, into 2020. Brian Tedeschi of quote unquote independent bank. Not right. a day over 40, Brian. You don't look a day over 40 years on that board. And then Jimmy Dew of Old Republic Bank. Oh, my God. Looks just like when we met. 40 years yeah, ago when you like, joined the board. These all look like villains from the Trading Places, the Eddie Murphy movie. Here's the most amazing part of this. Yeah. There is one who stands alone. There is one Highlander who stands above 50? all the rest. Celebrating a 20 and two 10-year anniversaries in 2020. Oh. Yeah. I am not kidding. A 20 and two 10-year anniversaries, one board member. His Wait, name. what? Ed Liddy. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. So he's got three different – he's on three different he's boards on all – three different boards. He's celebrating. Oh, he's the Jesus. only one celebrating multiple anniversaries in 2020. He Ed Liddy – He must bring great bagels to the meetings. He's celebrating 10 years on the board of, I shoot you not, Boeing yeah, of course. and Abbott Laboratories – yeah. And 20 years on the board of 3M. Now, if you recognize the name Ed Liddy because you watch this show, you would know that Ed Liddy is on the board of Abbott Labs with Bill Osborne, who's on the yep. board of Caterpillar, with Dennis Muhlenberg, CEO of Boeing, on the board with Ed Liddy. So we re yeah, we referenced these guys. We yeah, talked all right. about all these guys once upon a time. Ed Liddy, congratulations for being... The longest tenured, uh, uh, not longest tenured, but the multiple uh, celebratory board member, and somehow, somehow making it through, keeping Dennis Muhlenberg as CEO I was say, of Boeing. Pro that's probably the reason why Dennis still has a job, right? It's unbelievable.